Hi everyone, it's Mr. Williamson. I am going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to make sure that your smart music is accurate and that you don't feel frustrated because you think that it is grading you incorrectly. So let's go ahead and get started. Whenever you are doing an assignment on smart music, after you have tested your microphone, it is a requirement that you use wired earbuds or headphones. Okay, it is a requirement. If you do not have earbuds or um, headphones plugged into your computer and you are playing the metronome over the speakers, your microphone is gonna hear your clapping or your playing in addition to that metronome. So you have to use earbuds or it's not gonna grade you correctly. I just wanted to say that like one more time. You must use earbuds or headphones whenever you're doing smart music. Many of you have Bluetooth headphones or AirPods or something of that nature. I will tell you that I tried this myself and it does not work. The reason is because Bluetooth has a delay in the sound. It's not instant connection and that's just something that you can't fix with Bluetooth. So. If you're using Bluetooth headphones, go get your cheap ones. These are mine that came with my phone, okay? Just my super simple um, plug-in type of headphones. Um, so please use these. Don't try to use your AirPods for your smart music assignments. For Zoom and all your other classes, those are totally fine. But for smart music itself, you're gonna need to use um, old school wired plugged in earbuds or headphones. Next, whenever you're doing your rhythm counting, this is especially true for our beginner students, make sure that you are counting in your head, okay? You can't count out loud, okay? Because we're just doing clapping. So you can't count out loud. You can't do our one take, two take, three take, four take, but you can do that in your head. You can think, whatever it is, right? And you can even mouth it if you want, but you just can't say anything out loud because yet again, the microphone is picking that up and it's gonna think that you're performing during those rests and then it's going to count it wrong. Next, at the beginning of all of your assignments, there are going to be four clicks that give you prep beats before you start. So whenever you click that red record button, okay, it's gonna give you four clicks. You're gonna hear click, 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 then you start. So let's say that measure one, beat one, the very first thing in the measure is a quarter note, okay? If it is a quarter note, you're gonna hear this. Click, 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 clap. So technically you're going to start on the fifth beat, okay? Again, that would go one, two, three, four, measure one, okay? If the first note is a rest, then it's gonna go like this, one, three, four, silence on count one, okay? So yet again, there are four clicks. Some of you did five clicks and started clapping on six, which puts you one beat off the entire time. So you need to make sure that you're doing four clicks, starting measure one on count five, which is beat one of measure one. Next, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys so you can see an example that I have here um, for you. So this is um, rhythm lesson one, but it's number two of the sequence. So you can see here that we start at measure one. Whenever you do your recording process, you need to make sure that you click at the beginning of measure one to start your recording. If you click anywhere else in this piece, it's gonna start at wherever you clicked. If you start here at measure three, remember measure one, measure two, measure three. If you start at measure three, beat one, and you do perfectly from here to the end, it's only gonna grade the second half, which means that your highest score is a 50%. You need to make sure that you click at the beginning and then hit record. That is gonna allow for you to make sure you can record the entire line of music which would give you the possible 100 points. So again, make sure you click at the beginning of the line so that you can always start recording at the beginning of the music. Next, let's talk about your takes. If you click on the My Takes tab at the top, which would normally always go to after you record your first take, there is this drop down uh, box right here. I have recorded no takes just yet, so I have no takes. But if you were to click in this box, you're gonna see all of the times that you've hit record. So if I were to go ahead and hit record, again, I'm doing a rhythm line, so this is gonna be a percussive through microphone, okay? I'm gonna test my microphone. Then I'm gonna hit start.
Now, as you'll see, I did mess up on purpose here at the end. And so it did count the ending of it wrong. You can see now it takes me to my takes. And you see, I did my first one, which was an 81. That's the grade that would go in the grade book if I were to select that one and hit submit. So now I'm gonna do it again. You can do it as many times as you want. And you simply hit the record button again. Now that's my kind of score, a 100. So then whenever you come up, you need to make sure that you select the take that you want to send in and make sure it has a check mark next to it. So if you selected the 81 and hit submit, it's not gonna submit the 100. You need to select the 100 and then you need to hit submit, okay? The next little tip and trick I had for you. You can, if you're always like, what is happening? Why, why am I not getting a good score? I want you to click this record play button. This is going to play back your recording with the music. So if I click this, you can hear it and you can hear what you clapped. Okay. So you can hear exactly what you clapped and you can go, Oh, maybe my microphone isn't hearing me very well. Maybe something's wrong. So typically what happens whenever you hit the playback, you're going to find out one of two things. One, you're gonna realize the microphone is fine and you're just not clapping in rhythm or with the metronome. Two, you're gonna find out that your microphone volume is not correct. If it sounds really loud and distorted, that probably means that your microphone is turned up too loud. If it's really soft and sounds very distant, then that probably means that your microphone is too soft. So I'm gonna show you or talk you through how to turn your microphone volume up and down on your school Lenovo. I currently don't have a school computer hooked up to this, so I can't show you, but I'm gonna walk you through this. If you were to go to the bottom of your screen and you were to select um, the search bar at the bottom, and if you were to type in audio devices or audio, you're gonna find a little button that says audio devices and it's got a little speaker next to it and I want you to click on that. It's then gonna pop up and you're gonna select the tab that says recording at the top. You're then gonna go down and select your microphone. If you do not have an external microphone plugged in like through a headset or something, there's only gonna be the internal microphone show up. But if you're using an external microphone like a headset um, or a new microphone like I'm gonna be sending to your parents to possibly purchase for you, then you can select that microphone to adjust. Once you selected the microphone, you're gonna go down to the bottom right corner and you're gonna hit the properties button. Once the properties tab pops up, you're gonna click on the tab at the top that says levels. From there, you're gonna have two sliders. You're gonna have the normal microphone input volume as well as a boost level. If your microphone is too loud, you're gonna to wanna to turn those levels down a little bit. I would start with the boost. If the boost is turned up, turn the boost down just a little bit. If you feel like it's too distant, you're gonna to need to turn those up just a little bit. If the volumes are turned all the way up, yet you still feel as if the volume is too soft, then maybe you need to get a little bit closer to the microphone to clap your hands. You also may need to get further away from the microphone so that maybe the microphone is picking it up too much. So stepping back a little bit from the microphone and clapping would also help the microphone pick up more or less of your hand clap. Some of you are clapping really softly like this. And I hate to tell you, but it's not going to pick you up. You have to clap pretty strongly, okay? I like to put um, my fingers of one hand into the palm of my other hand to create this sound. It's very clean and precise. So if you are able to create that little pocket sound, it takes a little practice. It's called the band director clap. Then you can do that, and that's actually going to pick up really well on the microphone. Last little tip, just in case none of these things have worked, um, I will be sending your parents an email that has um, three or four uh, microphones that are pretty cheap um, on Amazon that you could purchase to plug into your USB port um, on your computer. Lastly, the only other thing I can think of is that you're, if you're using multiple microphones, this is only going for if you have multiple mics, that Chrome is not set to pick up the microphone that you want. In Chrome, you usually have the little login button here where you have your um, 
your name and all your email address. Next to that are the three dots. If you click on the three dots and go down to settings, then if you scroll down to where it says site settings, then you're gonna scroll down to where it says under permissions, microphone. From here, you're gonna have a drop down list of microphones. You can say that you can see that I have a ton of microphones, but this is the one that I'm currently using and the one that I want to use for my smart music. You need to make sure that your mic is selected at this drop down menu to make sure that you have the correct mic being used for smart music. After all of that, those are the only tips I have. If these are still unsuccessful, reach out to your band director. We will be able to do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with you so that we can then share, you can share your screen with us. We can check all your settings um, and make sure um, that it's also not user error. We understand that smart music is not perfect, but it is very, very good. Um, I've never had any issues with it um, from a performance standpoint. So I just ask that you please be patient and that you work really hard to make sure that everything you're doing is exactly correct. And then if it's not, ask your band director and we would be more than willing to help. All right, guys, I hope this helps um, you with your smart music assignments. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye, friends.